Back inside UD Arena, 1548 left in our first half of play. Arizona State up 15 to six on Nevada. It's a 15 and three Sun Devil run over the last three minutes and 40 seconds, Dominic. Great off ball movement and great job getting in position defensively, especially by Frankie Collins. He's drawn three charges in the first five minutes. It's been impressive. He really has been. He gives it off to DJ Horn off to the right wing on a three-man set there. And they kick it out to the right corner. Desmond Cambridge fakes the corner three, steps inside, misses the jumper out of bounds. The rebound caromed off the arm of Warren Washington. Steve Alford already making an adjustment. Went to a zone look there. Kind of looked like a 3-2. And that's where you want to get those shots from. It'll take a little bit of an adjustment period back from the Sun Devils, but Nevada is going to just try and weather the storm here early. Bobby Hurley counters with a full court pressure of his own with Horn and Cambridge Jr. McIntosh slows it down against DJ Horn, picks up the Baker screen, drives it through the right side of the lane, stops, fake stutters, and he picked up his pivot foot and travels. It is now the fifth turnover for Nevada over the last four and a half minutes of play. Once again, Sun Devils getting in position defensively and forcing a Nevada mistake. That's all you got to keep doing. Devin Cambridge and Frankie Collins will check out for Jemiah Neal and Alonzo Gaffney. Jemiah Neal had a great week last week in Las Vegas and really saw why Bobby Hurley's been taking up his minutes over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I was about to say, Bobby Hurley's trusted him a ton, and you're seeing why. Warren Washington off to the top of the arc, hands it off to DJ Horn. Horn to the right elbow, steps inside, pulls up the jumper, no good, rattled in and out. Ball still loose in the paint, and it's collected by Trey Coleman of Nevada. Wolfpack want to push. Here's Darian Williams. He'll slow it down, being guarded by Desmond Cameron Jr. Picks up the screen and kicks it out to the right wing for Lucas. Steps out back. Top of the key, Fournier on the way is down. That's Darian Williams for three. It's 15 to nine with 14.38 left. Nevada's been getting their three looks and they've gotten a couple to go down now. That's their third. Sun Devils might need to make an adjustment on the outside. All three Nevada baskets have from, been from behind the arc tonight. Jemiah Neal got a close by McIntosh, driving to the right block, kicks it out. Desmond Cambridge faked the three, gave it off to DJ Horn, the left wing, and he knocks down the open three-pointer. 18-9, Sun Devils lead with 14-12 to go. McIntosh being guarded by Neal again to Lucas. Deep left wing three on the way, that's too long. Washington the board for Arizona State. Hands it off to Neal who wants to push for a moment, but then we'll wait for Washington to come back across the timeline. Jemiah Neal to his right for DJ Horn. Out to Gapney at the top. They swing it to the left corner now for Neal. Dumps it down to the post for Washington. Easily gets around his defender and the reverse layup goes in. 20 to nine, he worked around Nick Davidson so easily, Dom. That's the red shirt freshman. Definitely the biggest stage he's played on, Washington. Shows off his experience there, kind of used his body to feel him out and just went right by him. Coleman faked the three, drove to the free throw and kicks it back out to Lucas who pumped the three, drove and draws a foul on DJ Horn. That's his second already. Bobby Hurley not happy. And so a substitution will be in place for Nevada. Lucas will come out for Keenan Blackshear. That's a risky move here by Steve Alford. Blackshear already with two fouls. Yeah, but it, it's March, you're gonna need to push the envelope a little bit. So Blackshear's gotta be smart, especially with 1320. You're getting a little bit close towards that under 12 timeout, so might just be coming in for that period. McIntosh, the catch and shoot three from the corner is down. 20 to 12, Wolfpack have scored every point off a three pointer now. McIntosh gets in on the action, that's his first tray of the night. And yeah, they're getting those looks, getting those off ball screens and Sun Devils are gonna have to make an adjustment. Cambridge Jr. hands off to Washington. Fake the give and go, Washington fakes, drives right. Kicks it out to Neal on the right wing. Doubled for a moment, but then Davidson loses him. Neal crosses over. Step back three from the right wing is good. Jemiah Neal, the step back three. These two teams trading triples. I'm not sure about that look, but it went down, so can't really question the results. Blackshear lost the handle on it. McIntosh couldn't come and help him out. Desmond Cambridge in the no look pass to Neal. The reverse layup with some English on it off the window. 25-12 with 12.36 to go. The Sun Devils are just controlling this game. Turnovers and then getting in the fast break. They have four six already. Davidson fakes the right wing three, drives, kicks it out, left corner. Williams gives it a ride and it's good. 25-15 with 12.40 remaining. 
And just like that, the Wolfpack, five of seven from behind the arc. That's where all 15 of their points have come from. And Davidson had a nice pump fake, got inside, and was able to hit him in the corner. Jemaya Neal out of three-point range, left side, gives it off to Muhammad. The zone is still there. Muhammad back to Neal. Fake the pass left, cuts inside, extra pass, sees Washington take a hit, take a second hit, and he draws the foul as he was going up to try to put it down. And that'll bring us to another break. 11.54 remains in this first half. Sun Devils lead by 10, making four of their last four. Stay with us here on the Varsity Network app.